Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I am joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. And uh, hey, Ron, how's it going? So tonight uh, we're doing another, you know, random episode of uh, showing off our stuff. I think we will probably get back to doing some Transformers Legacy, I guess, soon, right? Because, Anna, you actually got some mainline stuff that you regret, a pile of regret. Uh, it's half and half. I've got one regret and one not-so-regret, so there you go. it's halfsies. There you go. I've got a lot of regret myself, but, you know, that's not just Transformers, so. No. <laughs> so, all right. Well, um, Christian, I don't know. Do you want to go first? Since we don't know I do want to go first. Right, Mine is the go. most basic. Okay. Sorry, I haven't been getting anything super interesting that's like recent. I think a couple of vintage things, but we don't talk about vintage here, so I'm going to talk, talk about... talk about vintage stuff if you want. I'm talking about skids. This is the free country oh, of microcathania. Man, like, see, we should have done skids uh, on, a, on a full episode. I could have... Of course, I guess I could still give my thoughts anyway. Go on with okay, do you, do you want me to talk about something vintage then? Okay. No, 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 no. Go Do your skids. You already showed it off. I'm going to talk about... You guys have seen this on my desk for a while. Primal Prime. Oh, wow. We've changed topics. Yeah. Lucas shamed me into changing topics, so here we are. <clears throat> Did you see how hard he shamed him? Like, the tears were just flowing out of Christian's eyes. It's so hard to watch. <laughs> Oh, this so is Catherine perfect wants effects. to hear about skids, so it sounds like after you do that, you ought to do... Oh my god, I have to do two now? Yeah. Well, you set yourself up for failure. Okay, well, this is Primal Prime. He's, um... Guerrero Prime from Perfect Effect from, like, 2014 or 15. <laughs> he's, a, he's an older guy. You know, you could have right. said 20 years ago, and I still would have believed you. Well, he's not for 20 years ago. That would have been an actual falsehood. That, that would he's have also been holding, weird. holding, um... The Guerrero Juniors, which is are like, they are make they make axes, they make these axes, they make swords, they turn into guns. It's like a whole thing. Catch out! It's really cool. Wait, it is, is that, cool. Is that like a target master? It, yeah, except well, I guess they're battle masters. Well, they're, they're not target masters. masters. They're triple changers. They're monkeys. They're guns. They're axes like this and they can yeah, hold the sword too. Then? I don't want the, the rest of it. I just want the, the weaponizers. That's how they came. They came in a two-pack. Did they sell them separately? I thought they came with them. Nope. There was a two-pack of this in uh, these black colors and there was a two-pack of them in optimal optimus colors. I don't know about old stuff, y'all. So I got the black colors because I did not I get I started buying third-party toys later. like 2018. Excuse me. Uh, if I could transform one quickly, I would do that for you, but I can't. But I'm assuming you – did you get this recently, though? No, I've had this since it released. Oh, okay. All right. It just lives on my desk right. because I like it so much. And I love Primal Prime as a character, so here he is. He just he lives on my desk. He's Lots got really – Horrible. Hmm. <laughs> you want to just go out and do that? Horrible. I hate transforming it. It is the worst. Everything kind of is like... Nothing tabs in. It's just like, oh, kind of vaguely put it in this <laughs> configuration. And that that's it. Good good job. You, you did it there, pal. So I, I, I don't like transform is, them. I, I feel like that's the thing with like all the perfect effect stuff. It is. Um, like I, uh, I had the, the perfect effect... Um, Oh, what's the, um, gosh, your buddy sold it to me. The, I'm like blanking on it now. I have a buddy? The Fort Max? Yeah, um, Fort Max, thank you. Yes, the Fort I figure, that's, that's like the only perfect effect figure anyone cares about. Yeah, so, so that, that figure is like horrible, tra like you just don't ever transform it, it's like. Yeah, I had that one too it. and it was awful. I've done all the modes on, on Primal Prime here. And you can do it, and they look at the gorilla mode especially looks pretty good. The uh, flight mode doesn't look good. The armored car mode looks pretty okay. That's the order. But I keep him in bot mode because I think he looks the best that way. He's got really great metallic paint in the red and the blue. 
his wheels are painted. It's very nice. These are painted. They're not, I guess they're kind of metallic. They're kind of shiny, but they're not like metallic. It's hard to explain, but they've got this nice sheen to them. It's not like ivory. It's, it's more reflective than that. Just cool. He's also got these clear arm shields, which is also part of the clear backpack where you can deploy the giant cannons. Clear backpack, giant cannons. <laughs> He's cool, dude. He's really nicely painted. He's like the best likeness of this character we'll ever get, probably. I picked up the original Primal Prime after I picked this one up because I was like, maybe I'll go on a quest to have all the Primal Prime since I like him so much. I don't like that original Optal Optimus mold at all. Like, it doesn't look good in any mode because it has like the arms that stick out way, way here. I'm just like, that's not a, that's not a humanoid deal. I know they're robots and they can look like whatever, but like look kind of vaguely like someone I could talk to. I don't know. But this one's nice. Uh, like I said, Did he has a horrible Did you like the Power of the Primes mold? I, I liked it enough to want this because again, it looks it looks good. Right? I don't particularly like the inner part of that turning into just the surfboard, but right. it's unique and kind of interesting. I just don't happen to like it. But I would get an Ape Link to Primal Prime Evolution set. I still want that. I talked about that on Monday with the Wrecker Show. I want right, that to happen. Right. I still don't see how that didn't happen. I don't know. And who knows? Maybe it, it still might. But It was but... designed. It's in the Transformers Legacy Packaging book that came out a couple years ago. Uh -huh. It was the original concept for what became Throne of the Primes, Optimus Primal. Hmm. So there was like a, a Comic-Con exclusive thing that was planned for Primal Prime, and then it got kicked out for that one. There's one other paint application I want to talk about. It's hard to pick out because it's dark, but he has really well-painted green eyes, which is pretty striking. It's the only green on him, and it's accurate. It's just, it's just nice. It's cool looking. So if Hasbro was to repaint that toy that's probably a little past its prime as far as them actually repainting it, uh -huh, if they were to repaint it as Primal Prime, would you get rid of that one? I don't think anything would make me get rid of this one. But I would get that one so it would actually go with the rest of my collection. This is kind of just a, a standalone figure by himself. He hangs out on my desk and is my cool friend. But he doesn't really fit with anything else. Is it essentially an action figure for you then, since you don't like transforming it? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard. Like, there are some days where I'm really bored at work. I'm just sitting at my desk here, and I'm like, maybe I'll transform Primal Prime. And then I'm like, I could do literally anything else and have more fun. You got the Dragon but, Megatron, didn't you? I got Cryotech. I had the them for a time. one, right? Like, I feel yeah. like those could kind of go together, maybe. They did not. They didn't, really. Yeah, the Megatron mold seems to have a different designer or at least a different design goal okay. because it's like way more stylized and way more pointy. And the, the Primal Prime and the Optimus Primal mold is pretty much just, hey, this is the show and also it's a masterpiece. Right. Whereas Megatron's like, hey, this is a redesign to look edgy and spiky. It just it doesn't it doesn't work. I wanted it to work. I chased that cryotech for a long time. And I finally got one, and I was like, this is not fun, and it doesn't work with Primal Prime, so goodbye. That's too bad. Yeah. That's Primal Prime. He sits on my desk. It's a very nice-looking figure. You know, it's very striking and fancy-looking. Yes. But yeah, I, I can't recommend it unless you're a super fan of Primal Prime like me. One, because it's horrible to transform. That's just how Perfect Effect works. But two, because I think this thing is like really expensive on the aftermarket now. I think all of the Beast Guerreras are very expensive now. And I think Primal Prime is the most of them all. That is accurate but, as far as I know as well. Like, if you really want one because you really like him, definitely go get it. But otherwise, he'll just be my special friend. 
I bet the little axes are also really expensive now. I bet they are too. They didn't make too many of them. They're pretty cool. I have a desire for them, but I probably don't actually because you said they were too painful to transform on camera. They're not painful. It just it takes a while. <clears throat> yeah, just... that's that's not what I wanted in a Target Master. I want like okay, yeah, you know relatively yeah. fast. This is just the sword part. They reuse this from their uh, Lyo Convoy figure. Oh, nice. So it comes with two of those. They're not left-right justified, and neither are the wings that attach to the arms, but that's just a way Perfect Effect uses um, or saves money on molds. But yeah, so the skids, and unfortunately, I think we'll have to wait to review him until after you can't find him, because that's kind of how we roll. Oh yeah, that's actually that's get an that's official what we recommendation to do. until it's like way out of out of stock. My item for today isn't out of stock. I don't think. See live transformation. We're getting it. Randall asked yeah. for a live transformation. He didn't mean that one. But now he's getting one. Monkey face. Exciting sound effects of transformation. I, I was actually kind of surprised. So I went to um, at, at my local Target uh, that I went to. Uh, they actually had all the Legacy Deluxes except for Skids, which is oh, nice. weird. It's like the opposite of what I've seen, you know, like um, at a lot of the other stores. So I don't think I've seen Skids at a store. Oh, I've seen a couple Skids. Like, I, I feel like... Most of the time, I've seen either a couple RCs or a couple skids. There we are. A little ook ook. There you go. That's fun. If you have any ideas for what to call these guys as target masters, the only one I've thought of in all these years is that since there's two of them, I could, and Primal Prime's the leader of the wreckers, I could call them Wreck and Rule, which sounds really dumb. Because, like, if you take them apart, like, Wreck, okay, that's a name. Rule? Your name is Rule? No. No, it's not. Yeah. So, like, what are their names? F put them in the comments, and I, I can finally name these guys. But they're cute. I mean, they, they do this thing. The little gorilla. The little gorilla is pretty cool. And it really does, just, like, in pictures, it really reminds me of the, um, the Titan Master Ape face from a few years ago. It's got that same profile. Yeah. And let's see if I can do the gun. Just a little lumpy gorilla guy. The ball. <sighs> it's the reason we don't do live transformer live transformations, Randall, yeah. because they take. And you a don't have to, Christian, because yeah, now it's Lucas's like turn. Did, did we want to go ahead and get him? Any... So I I think I may have shown this off on another show, but I honestly don't remember. Like, this is the MDLX B, and I know, Anna, you, I think you and Christian both said that you have not seen this, right? So I have not I'm seen sure. you play with that in front of me before. This is new. So it may have been. So this is their, um, they have a new line. Uh, this is from um, uh, 3A, 30, I can't remember whatever they call themselves, um, that uh, they're doing a, like, so they have their, what is it? Like, they have their full-scale figures that are, like, the regular movie line. Then they have their DLX figures, which are, like, I don't know, maybe, like, scaled down. So, like, one's, like, quarter scale. The other one's, like, whatever it is. A scale or, or whatever. I can't, I don't know. Anyway, and those figures are really good. Um, but, like, like, I'd say those figures, I think the Bumblebee for that was, like, Maybe around a hundred dollars, a little more. Like I think it's one hundred and twenty, and then the um, like the uh, Soundwave and the Prime and all that, I think are two hundred dollars. They're well worth it. Like I actually think that comparative to the Flame Toys, like I think they they, they feel like they're similar quality to Flame Toys, but they're like a lot cheaper, um, and and they're nice. But these, um, so these are like even smaller. This is about the size of a deluxe. Um, and it's, uh, I believe it retails for $60, I think. Um, but uh, it is, like, really well painted. If you can probably not, like, see it great. 
Um, but uh, my lighting is like weird here. Anyway, um, the uh, the paint is really cool. The, it comes with there's like a tray of accessories. So he comes with a um, like a, a battle mask head. And again, I apologize since this is like weird lighting. Uh, I like that head better a, actually. He comes with a bunk. Yeah, I don't know. I've kind of like went back and forth on both of them. But um, and then he has um, several different hands. So he has like closed fist. He has like, you know, open fist. He has like ones where he can like hold his gun. And then he comes with a, um, like a cool painted rifle as well um, that, uh, that he can hold. But yeah, so you hold his rifle. Um, but it is, it's extremely well painted. Um, just like any of their other uh, figures where there's like a lot of weathering on it. <clears throat> and so he, um, like he has pretty good articulation and uh, detail. And then like he... Just the, all the detail on the figure, you know, like they have like these little wheels down. Like, so this is non-transforming. I should say that and my, somehow I keep knocking his hand off. Um, he's uh, non-transforming, but um, it is just a really cool looking figure, like with a ton of detail, a ton of articulation. Like it has all these like little, like, you know, bits all over the place. Like the back of his legs have all these detail. Like it's just like extremely well done. Um, I mean, it's like an SH Figuarts figure essentially um, is probably the the best corollary um, to this. But th like so, this line is kind of like a, its own unique thing. So it's it's kind of like if you did a Cybertronian G one, I guess. Like it's not like necessarily um you know reminiscent of like a specific movie or um you know any type of media reference which i actually think is is kind of neat um to do so it's like still reminiscent but it like looks really nice um so yeah i'm i'm extremely impressed there's a uh, optimus prime coming out um I think pretty soon, if not like already like dropping now um, in Asia. And uh, so I'm excited for that. And again, like all of these are roughly like maybe a little bit smaller than Masterpiece scale. Um, they're like kind of in between um, like whatever, ch mainline and, and Masterpiece. So. But. Reminds me of Goldbug more than Bumblebee. That's why I think I like him better with the battle mask on. Mm -hmm. I think it fits him a little better. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, both, like, again, both of them, like, both of the masks are really neat. Um, yeah, both heads look good, and the detail looks really good on it. And it looks like yep. a really nice toy to own. Yep. Should I should I get my own, or are you going to sell me that one in a couple months, Lucas? No, I... I I really like this. I, I don't think I'm going to sell this one. So. Look at that. Usually when you get oddities, you end up either selling them at a con or selling them to me. Right. Well, I mean, it. so they've already announced, um, like, I know this is coming out with an Optimus. And then I think they've announced, like, a Megatron and Starscream as well. So, like, I think there's enough. I can, like, make a shelf out of it and whatever. But this is kind of the thing that I've... Like, I've kind of wanted something like this. Um, they had, um, uh, who is it? Amazing Yamaguchi did an Optimus Prime. And, like, it wasn't all that great. <coughs> Mediocre so, Yamaguchi. Yeah, so, like, this this I'm actually impressed with. But, honestly, like, I've been impressed with everything that 3A30 has done. Um, so, I... I did end up selling the um, so I still have the um, the DLX Bumblebee and Soundwave, but I did sell the Blitzwing or 
whatever. Yeah, I think it's Blitzwing. Like just because it it's like I don't really collect movie figures, but the other ones were enough. Like kind of went with the rest of my stuff enough, like the statues that I have. Um, you never get the Prime to go with them though. No, because I have the uh, Prime statue. And so, yeah, like, that Prime like, just well, had so many pieces to his spine. It was very interesting to look at. Yeah, no, I mean, like if I didn't, if I didn't have that statue, I would have gotten it. But um, yeah, like I that makes sense. Like that again, the, the prime, prime is spot really was cool. taken. Right, right. Like yeah, I it was really, really have a display. I played with it at whatever right. comp. No, I would really, I really like it, um, and I would get it. But it's just again one of those things where it's like it's. It's too expensive. It's like if I don't have a great spot, I already have something else that's kind yeah. of taking that up. I, I don't want to, like, sp you know, spend the money on it, which, like, this is just kind of a nice little fiddle bot. And, like, I know that we have, like, all these Super 7 figures coming out. We have Hasbro where you have these non-transforming figures. And I don't feel like I've been impressed by it. And, again, I have not handled any of the Super 7 ones yet because those are just coming out now. Few like, people I just, have. I don't I feel say. like I'm impressed by any of that. Whereas this, like, I'm actually impressed by. So. I mean, it does look impressive. You know, it's got that whole like fancy action figure, and I only have a few of the like anime and game figures that really come off that fancy. Like Figma is nice, but it doesn't come off that fancy. SH Figbar just is nice, but it doesn't come off that fancy. There's just a few random figures that are fancy like that. And that looks really cool to stand out on its own. I'm not sure that I want it. I can't really decide. It's been a very hard decision for me because it's just, I don't know. I have so many toys I already play with that another Bumblebee action figure may not be needed in my collection. I don't know. Right. Such a hard choice. I know. Well, yeah, right. It's like, do I really need another Bumblebee and Optimus? Like, um, right. Kind of thing. But, like, I want to support the line again just because I think these are really neat. And, you know, I've always liked them. But, yeah, like, I, yeah, sure. Like, I, I it's probably the last thing I need is another Optimus and Bumblebee. But, you know, whatever. No, nah, supporting what you believe in is. It's always a good idea when it comes to these high-end figures that don't really have huge production runs. Right. And, like, it seems like that these are actually doing pretty well. Like, they have they had sold out of several places. So, hopefully, you know, I wish the best for, um, you know, for them that, uh, you know, that they're successful with this. So. But, yeah. Ron commented that he doesn't think the Super 7 toys look like $50. I'm going to say they better look like 55 because that's how much they cost. Right, but... Uh, I think I said something similar to that when they were first shown. They look like $30 things. Yeah, they do. They do. And especially, well, let's cross that bridge in about a week or so because somebody's getting one of them well, like, in the mail pretty the soon. Hard with Super 7 is, is obviously all those, they're like doing pretty limited runs. But, like, that's the thing I, I don't really understand is, is how is it that 3A is able to do these figures at $60 that are just such quality? And you know it's probably not a high run, you know. And and then, like, some I don't know. I, I, I don't understand the economics of, you know, what these guys do. So, I don't know. Maybe they're made of poison rocks. And we'll find out years later. There you go. That could be fun. Yeah. Never know. But yeah, so Anna, what, what do you have? I have a box. I have Steiner Warrior. Ooh. It's replacement Scorponok for bad Scorponok. Bad Scorponok? Yeah, the, the one that you guys own and tolerate. The one that I will... I actually do still own it. It has a purpose, but... Which one is this? It's purpose. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I gotcha. Scorponok. Yes, yes, yes. Rare. Yeah, so this is, um, I think, Transform Elements third Beast Wars little guy in the scale, right? Just um, Rat Trap and Black Rackney and Hemp, I think, so far in the scale. Um, 
whatever. It's not a Legends figure, just so people don't think that it is. It's also not not a Legends figure. It's probably the most skeletal thing in my collection. So here's it with a Dr. Wait, wait, Wu figure. Wait, hold on. The most skillless thing in Anna's collection? Like, that seems like that's saying something. No, this just doesn't have a skill. Like, here it is with the Dr. Wu figure, right? Like, obviously, it's not Dr. Wu legend size. Um, don't you have a Legends figure on your desk, Anna? Yes, you do. Okay. Here it is with Legend Sea Spray. So he's way too big to be Legends. Right? Like, clearly. Just far too large. But then you put him next to a deluxe figure. Uh, let me see if I can fish out RC without destroying my desk. I can. You put him next to a deluxe figure. And oh, he's a little guy. Huh. So he's not really to scale with chug figures. But he's not small enough to be a Legends figure. So he goes somewhere in your collection, in a mysterious place. I'm just putting him with my chug figures for now because, well, I guess I'll get to that part. I really, 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 really like him. I got the rat trap right when he came out, and I was so disappointed. Like, the transformation was annoying. The figure didn't look great. It didn't move super well. It didn't like to stay standing in robot mode because it had joints that were for the transformation that caused it to kind of fold up on itself. I just, I don't love it. It sets with my Masterpiece Beast Wars figures because it's funny to have him in that size with them. But, because it's like he's an actual rat, but he's still way too big to be an actual rat. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but he just sits there because I don't really enjoy him. This guy's gone all over my room because he's really fun. He's got quite a bit of metal in him, oddly enough, and I usually don't care about that, but it feels good in his legs. He's got really good articulation, of course. Like, you can tell just by looking at him, all the joints that are in him, the multiple shoulder joints, the bicep swivel and all that. He doesn't so much have a wrist swivel because he doesn't really have wrists. He has claws. He has a claw swivel. He has the, the beloved ankle joints. His ankles also fold in for transformation. So he has a lot of movement on him. And is a very nice and solid feeling figure. You know, he doesn't have any of that um, kind of hollowness usually filled with less expensive figures. Because um, he's not expensive. You know, he, I think his retail is like just over 30, like 35-ish. And I got him for like 22 on sale for Show Z. So he's like deluxe figure priced. Mm -hmm. And for that price, I really think he's very, very, very good. And he's got, you know, um, I figure my camera doesn't really do close anymore these days, but he's got a very scorpion on face. Like, it's just, like, it was almost perfect on the um, the mainline figure, and then this one just does it a little bit better. So, you know, I've, I've gone back and forth between the two, trying to figure out which one's more accurate to, like, the animation model. And this one is definitely miles above in beast mode like i'm not going to transform it right now just because i'm holding it up and i'm the last one to go um but if you look at the the beast mode it's definitely a lot more accurate to the cartoon because it's silly you know it's got the silly kind of like very animated looking face it doesn't have a whole lot of movement in the face because it's so small but, you know, it's got the goofy-looking eyes. It's got the goofy-looking face. It doesn't look like a real scorpion, but it looks like cartoon Scorponok. So it's actually really cool in that mode. It's actually very easy to transform, too. Where Rat Trap somehow is a lot smaller and a pain in the ass, this one is actually um, bigger and feels a lot nicer <laughs> and is easier to transform. But, yeah, I am really, really, really happy with this figure. And, you know, I was honestly, like, a lot of people who aren't as, like, super into Beast Wars have talked about not being as impressed by the Beast figures in the recent lines. And I'm probably one of those people, even though I am into Beast Wars, and I really do like a good Beast Wars figure. So this guy really cheered me up because the figures I've been getting recently were like, Ugh, okay, it's Tigatron bots. Or it's, you know, it's... Actually, I haven't got most of them. 
it's Pachyarachnia butt. It's Dinobot butt. But this doesn't feel like Scorponok butt. You know, it's just like, it just is him. And he's really cool. And he's there to be your minor character bad guy. I actually feel it's like I named off like some of the better ones of the uh, of the Beast Wars mainline. Uh, I did. Line. I've actually been I more did. excited. Like I, like I actually like Dinobot and Black Arachnia, um, you know, better than like some of them, like like the Cheetor is definitely the one that I'm like. Uh, the Cheetor is like, kind or, of or the Scorponok. Like I think is another one where you just like get it like the mainline figure and you're just like it's. I, I can throw it on my shelf. I've, you know, checked the box, but that's about it. So. It is quite a bit of fun to have him on the shelf riding the mainline Scorponok as a mount. Because it's bigger than him, so he can ride it as a scorpion mount into battle. And then he's going to go show up in a Golden Axe game, which no one probably gets that reference. But hey, it's okay. You ride scorpions in that game. It's old. Older than Christian, probably. Have to check later. But, um, yeah, I, you know, like, as far as the animal figures in Kingdom, and I guess we'll brain animals as we go forward, um, I really haven't liked a lot of them. I liked, I, I do kind of like the Black Arachnia. I like it in robot mode. I don't like it in beast mode. That's kind of my thing on most of them, is I don't like them in beast mode at all. Yeah. Um, and I do like them in robot mode just fine. Um, Air Razor is like the one exception. Um, Pterosaur is actually more of an exception than her because I thought he actually got a good face. But anyway, this is a good one. I don't care that he's a little too small to hate out with his frenemies. He's going to do it anyway. Oh, and he, he comes with his silly little bug friend too. I think it's here. Yes. So he does come, his toy bug friend that he always has to come with. How exciting. Wow. Yeah, so very happy with this guy. Random. Random, like, impulse buy, too, because he went on sale at Show Z, and I wasn't going to get him because I really didn't like the rat trap, and I heard the black arachnia was super terrible. And I just said, I'm not going to get anything else from them. But the scorpion kept showing up in pictures. And I was like, but he looks perfect. Is he really going to be bad if I get him? And he actually is perfect. So I couldn't be happier. And scorpions are small, right? So it's okay for him to be small. Scorpions are not big animals. They're small. Works. Yeah, that's it. I'm the most excited tonight somehow. There you go. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I really we're like, all I excited. Really actually, we, we all are like we all we're happy with stuff that we like. Yeah, but Christian's probably the most mixed because he can't transform his without getting sad. But I could transform into gorilla mode and be totally fine. The other two harder to do. There are so many things in my collection. I feel like that about. Yeah, so I'm happy. I I definitely tell people if you can pick it up for retail price or lower. I, I don't know about paying more for that than that. I don't know about paying more than that for it just because it is a small figure. But if you can get it for the price it's supposed to be and you like Scorpions or Scorponok or any mixture of the two, you should get it. Cool. Looks All neat. Right. Well, there we go. All right. Well, um, I guess I don't know if we got anything else. It's yeah. time to be back together. We haven't been the three of us in a while. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's been a minute. So, yeah. So, I think we should be able to get back to uh, more regular uh, shows now. So. Oh, yeah. The red beard guy last week didn't have enough hair. That must not have been Christian. Uh, I was tricked. I just thought it was the same guy. Surprise. Anyway, yeah, so, all right, well, um, thank you guys for joining us tonight, and thanks to everyone in the chat, uh, thanks to uh, Randall, thanks to Ron, and thanks to Catherine, um, so, and uh, everybody else, so, 
Uh, the what uh, book club is, uh, what is it? Lost Light 5 and 6, I think? Yep. Uh, that's Sunday night, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central in the TF Talk Discord. Um, and uh, I guess I need to get on rendering Cut the Tape for this week so that uh, Randall has a show to watch. Um, so, but Rick did send it to me, so so hopefully we'll get that uh, get that going. So, but does it involve anyway. troop builders? I feel like that's all he's been talking about lately. Yeah, I don't know. I have not watched it yet, so we'll see. Yep. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye.